Well, hey everybody. <laughs> I just talked to you guys for like three minutes and I had not hit record. So, welcome to my day. <laughs> How's everybody? Okay, we're gonna use It's a Hoot. This is the one with little owls and they have kind of orangey heads. So I put with it um, Seattle Royal. Now, I think the tan and orange go good together even if like, you know what I mean? Like even if they didn't have that little bit of orange around their head, I would still say these two go well together. So, but you know, if you have this set and you've been waiting to use it, put whatever suits you or don't put anything girl. Just go with a plain. Plain owls. I am, um, this is like my, here we go, fall time. <laughs> no, I know I've said that a ton lately because you guys, I'm just feeling it. Like, well, I don't know what I did there, but that looks like crap. Oh, well, it's going to have a, it's going to have some side slant over it to fix it. Um, I'm feeling the, maybe it's just knowing that fall release is happening. So this is pre-recorded Stacy, you guys, um, when the ruckus is on, which it is because this video is going up based on my post-it note, August 16th. Now, if my... If Fa was Fa and followed what he's always done, in theory, this should be release day. So if it is, happy release day. If it isn't, just know that I'm crying with you. And if it is, Stacy of the past hopes that it's as good as she anticipated it to be. Also, I'll put a link to our ruckus down there. Feel free to join us. It's a heck of a good party. I am not a stylist, by the way. That's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, this is all your fall dreams. A little a pumpkin spicy. Yeah. Bring it on, girl. Um... So, Mars and I host the ruckus in the spring and the fall, and it is a huge party. We give away loads of stuff. We have drawings, people who do orders. Uh, we give away loads of stuff, people who do orders. Like, it's, it's a big deal. And again, we're not stylists. We just, I originally, when I started using Color Street, it was in the spring and I wound up um, booking a party off of um, my cousin had hosted a party right before spring launch, like the month before. And then I booked a party off her because I totally drank the Color Street Kool-Aid. Because girl, you know I love it. And um... So my party wound up being right at spring launch and I just, I am one to involve prizes in everything I do. Like I love getting to know people and like thinking, seeing something and just thinking, oh, so-and-so would love this or whatever. And um, oftentimes with nail supplies, be it decals or, you know, um, nippers or, you know, little pushers or tweezers or whatever it is, uh, they're just cheaper in bulk. So I would buy stuff in bulk, share with friends, and then it just got where things went crazy. And now we do like four grand prize giveaways and there's like 17 sets in each one. And 
a zillion other little prizes and just it's just so fun you guys it's crazy fun okay now I am worried that my owl's head could be cut off meaning my nails too short and if it is I saved out um, a spare one of these feather strips and I'll just switch like I'll just lay it right over the top of this if I need to no, it totally, it like just spot on made it. Like, like just made it. I didn't, I don't got to cut his head off, you guys. I'm so excited. I have owls here on our property, two of them. And, and they go all the time. Like you hear them hooting in the day or the night, whenever. They just don't ever quit. Oh, yeah. So good. Okay. Now, let's try to be as well placed on this other one. And I had thought about doing a side peep, you guys. But my worry was, and I think it was right, that I would end up Pushing this little guy's head up too high and then, you know, losing it. I think that was right because I did not have a lot of room before he would have lost his little head. Oh, don't lose your little head, friend. So, yeah, anyway, right now you guys are getting pre recorded, Stacy, because I know. That Stacy right now is so dang busy doing fun ruckus stuff. We do a ridiculous amount of live videos and live nails. And this year we're doing more live nails because that's what people requested last year. So, and then when we do the live nails, like whatever I use to make that set, then I spin for someone who commented during that live nail and they get all the supplies for what it took to make it happen so if it took punches or fun scissors or whatever then that's what they get in the sets so that's really fun okay I am excited for these little feathers it's almost got like a dream catcher look to it, to me. These are going on very nice. These sets, this and like oh, My Little Obsession and uh, Atomic Sparkle and BU, those I believe were the ones that were stylist designs. Like the stylists, stylists got to submit designs, and then the winners got their stuff made into sets. And this was one of them. I wish they'd do stuff like that more often. I wonder if it's like, like I don't know what's the. What makes it so they're not doing more of that? I think it's exciting for the stylists. It's exciting for us. Because we like to think that, you know, the stylists know what we like also and what we're after. I would say probably not all stylists, but the majority do, I think.
there. Come on, you guys. Those are really cute. Okay. Now, this, by the way, was the second big thumb, the plain tan. And I just cut it in half to use it on pinky and pointer. Um, and then now I have that one to use on my thumb. Isn't that gold nice, like, ooh, smooth. So, and if you don't have It's a Hoot, which I know, you guys, it's an older set. It's not necessarily um, super easy to come by anymore. But you could use uh, Stay Golden as your gold color. And owl need owl kneel owl nail decals, which are not hard to come by. And you know, do your own take on this if you wanted. I mean, and obviously, don't gotta be don't gotta be using stay golden. You can do whatever color you want. I know that I have some nail decals that have um, pink owls on them, so you know go whatever direction suits you. This is very pumpkin spicy. You guys, listen. I love pumpkin pie. I do. It's my favorite. I could pick it for every single, like, pie occasion. <laughs> whatever uh, seasonal whatever where I'm doing pies, I can pick pumpkin pie. But I am not a fan of, like, pumpkin spice style drinks oh gosh I think that's because really I just like coffee I don't necessarily love those foo-foo drinks have you seen that meme where there's this girl and she's like I love iced coffee and she's holding this like thing all chocolate drizzle and um whipped cream and sprinkles and this whole thing and then under it says no that's dessert you like dessert not coffee that's kind of how I feel about Willow's iced coffee she always wants to get at Starbucks like I'm like this does not look like I think of coffee but don't get me wrong they taste delicious but when the when my thought in my head is coffee, then I want it to, like, also in my head, I want it to be hot. You know, when you're, like, say you're at a restaurant and you've got, um, you know, your usual glass of water sitting there and then you've ordered, like, a Dr. Pepper. I mean, it doesn't have to be. It can be whatever kind of soda you like. I just don't really drink soda, but I do like Dr. Pepper. So you pick up your cup to take a drink of water, and unbeknownst to you, you have picked up the cup and took a drink of Dr. Pepper. And when that hits your mouth, when in your head you are thinking you are getting water, you act like it was poison. You're like, oh, ugh, oh, what did I do? Like, it's the most horrible thing in the whole world, but... That's how I am with iced coffee. Like, it can be delicious, but in my head, I, I associate coffee with being hot. There you go. <laughs> there's, your, there's your random Stacy fact for the day, and you guys know there's always a lot of them. Oh, gosh, that is just... I used to have problems with these golds um like they would chip fast and stuff and my reasoning which I know I've said a million times is that because they have to use so much pigment to get them to be you know this solid and not at all sheer um that it gets to be where it's just like too much pigment basically 
that's my that's my reasoning and that's why I think I struggle with the glow in the darks also anyway that was a total side note but um that stay golden and silver lust they do not have those problems at all they're a whole different um feel than these old ones and they do not have that problem where they're like too much pigment and end up chipping on me and not holding up good so that's good I did make a little mini hoard of stay golden because I like these I think that gold is a warm color right I don't know no cool color I don't freaking know you guys like I say I suck with colors it's all luck for me will look and I just ask Marcy like would this go with this or I'll ask Marie have you used these two would that make sense <laughs> but anyway um the gold tones overall look good with my skin so there I don't know I know some of you are gonna gonna have a something to say about if it's warmer cool tones and thank you you will leave it in the comments I will read it I will tell you thank you I will appreciate it and I will not remember and we'll have this conversation a month from now basically I just call these fall colors is that okay can we just leave it at that can we call things fall and winter colors or summer colors Okay, we're going to use my, what I've been loving, which is the Essie Gel Setter Top Coat. There we go. Oh, God, you guys, that is, I mean, gorgeous. Seattle Royal is, or Seattle Royale, either way, it's pretty sheer. So it does work lovely over another color to give you that pumpkin spicy spicy pumpkin look okay and they didn't have to use that feather so I will put that back in the package I did kind of bugger the tip a little bit here when I was pushing on that other nail dang it Oh, those are lovely. Lovely, lovely. Okay. Essie Gel Setter. No UV light required. It just goes on really um, nice and thick and smooths everything gives that nice glossy look oh I love it yeah and there's been a couple of the gals that said that they also use this and it does not get stringy so that was my big problem I love OPI plumper you guys it's beautiful and it makes your nails look stunning um but just even after a few weeks, it would get stringy on me, like drying up. So I said, no, no more of that. This is kind of a short little brush. Like I've gotten so used to using my big Northern Lights that that this little brush feels like a very miniature. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, gosh, dang it. Oh. Definitely need some tip cleanup, you guys. We'll leave them. We'll leave the tips kind of 
crumpled over as long as we can because um, then if you have any shrinkage, it's not going to look funny. Hopefully. I mean, you're going to have a little shrink, but hopefully not a noticeable amount. And these are, um, Color Street is 95 percent dry which is why you can just you know basically put them on and go but still there is that five percent that's got a cure out of it like so that it's totally cured in my opinion you're always best to do your nails right before bed and let them cure overnight you that'll give you the least chance of buggering them up because it happens you guys you bugger them up and then what? Then you're mad. That sucks. I think it sucks to be mad at him. I get really mad when I bug Ryan up. These are stunning. I mean, if you're gonna kinda be kicking off fall, this is the way to do it. Yep. Yeah. Hoot, hoot. So we're calling these a royal hoot. <laughs> it's a hoot. There's those cute little owls. Oh. Yeah, I love them, you guys. They're beautiful. All right, have a good one. Join us in the ruckus if you have not. It is a hell of a good time, ladies. Have a good one.